Andrew Halla has spent the better part of the past 20 years behind bars and prison records show he was released just a few short months before this most recent reported attack. Is he in, is he in there by the park? No, ma'am. You're watching video here of St. Lucie County Sheriff's deputies arresting 47 year old Andrew Halla. Out of prison for just a few short months, he's now being cuffed and back behind bars. Deputies say he was at a neighbor's in this Fort Pierce trailer park when he forced the woman into her bedroom, held her down, and sexually assaulted her. CBS 12 investigates found Halla has spent the better part of the past 20 years in prison and could have been in prison when this latest reported assault happened. In 2006, he was sentenced to 10 years for sexual assault and another five years for failing to register as a sexual offender. But those terms were served concurrently at the same time. It's very common for sentences to be served concurrently instead of consecutively. CBS 12 legal expert Carissa Krantz says there are many factors that go into sentencing. In 2006, for Halla, that would have included his previous 10-year prison sentence for another similar sexual assault. St. Lucie County Sheriff Ken Mascara says in this case, Halla is only facing charges because the victim found the courage to report what happened, saying her bravery should be commended. Krantz says this should encourage other victims that if they too speak out, something can be done, but again, only if they say something. That's very critical that victims will come forward in cases. I was a former prosecutor here in Palm Beach County, and I cannot tell you how many cases we lost because victims were afraid to come forward. And when you don't have a victim, you cannot prove your case many times. And tonight we can tell you Halla is still being held at the St. Lucie County Jail at this point with no bond. Greg Angel. CBS 12 News.